Hello everyone, my name is Alexis and welcome to today's Summer Solstice Ritual Flow. I know I say this every time, but I'm so excited to share this class with you. I love these seasonal flows. Make sure that you have a journal and a writing utensil and you might want some blocks for this practice as well. Go ahead and find a comfortable seat. We're going to start with just a short little meditation reflection here. So get comfortable, sit up with a nice tall spine, close your eyes, begin to breathe in and out through the nose. Allow yourself to arrive here on the mat. And if you're doing this on the actual day of the summer solstice, allow yourself to think for a second. How do you feel about summer? Does it inspire excitement and relief? Does it inspire overwhelm? Whatever feelings you have about summer, just name them and then let them be. Reflect on what's your favorite part of summer. What about summer brings you the most joy? Summer, of course, is the height of the year, very similar to the cycles of the moon. The summer would, uh, the summer season would correspond with the full moon. So this is a very young masculine energy point in the year. Of course, summer's opposite is winter, which is hibernation and rest. And summer is the social time of year. Summer is when we are out. We are outside. We're having picnics and hiking and backpacking, camping. We're out on the water. We're out with friends. We're spending more time being social, being um, being in situations where our energy is going outward. This is a season of expending and connection. There's so much of our energy and our experiences in summer that have to do with other people, have to do with community, have to do with connecting with what's around us, with nature, with people that we love. There's a lot of activity. There's a lot of brightness in this season. But also in summer, there can be a lot of dryness and a little bit of withering and a little bit of crunchiness. So for today's class, we're going to be doing 108 movements in honor of the summer solstice. And doing 108 sun salutations is a very common practice to bring in the summer solstice, to bring in the season of summer in that outward energy. But it's important to balance that with cooling practices. And you'll see later on this month, I've got some cooling uh, yoga flows and cooling breath uh, tutorials so that you can strive to find that balance between that active yang energy and a little bit more softness, coolness. So if I said the word 108 and you immediately panicked, don't worry. I'm going to offer you lots of alternatives, lots of modifications, and you can always back it off if you need to. You can always back it up a step. Um, and they're not, we're not doing 108 sun salutations. We're just going to do 108 simple movements to celebrate this new transition into a new season. So go ahead and open your eyes. From your seated position, we're just going to start super simple with our sun breaths. Very easy. Bring your hands by your sides. Inhale the arms up overhead and exhale hands to heart center. That's it. Keep going. Breathe in. Arms lift. Exhale hands to center. Inhale arms lift. Exhale hands to heart center. Keep going just like that. Super simple. Of most of the exercises that we're doing today, we're going to do about 10 to 20 of them. And it'll depend on the exercise. But I want you to find a rhythm in each of these exercises, in each of these movements, find a fluidity, find a flow. Um, if you live on the coast, if you live on lakes, so much of summer is spent on or near the water. There's that beautiful meshing of the heat of summer and the cool refreshment of water. So find some of that fluidity here as you move through these movements. Keep going with your sun breaths, find fluidity. And know that no matter what other movements we do in this class, you can always come back to these sun breaths. If the other movements get overwhelming, just come back to a cross-legged seat and do your sun breaths. Easy peasy. 
Almost there. You're doing amazing. Beautiful. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. For my students who like to know, that was 20. <laughs> you can set your block aside. And from here, we're gonna move into some simple spinal movements. They're gonna build on each other as we make our way up to stronger and stronger movements, but even still, we're gonna keep it nice and breezy. And again, come back to simpler movements if you need to. Inhale the arms up while kneeling on your knees, and you're just gonna exhale your head forward into rabbit pose. This is a pretty straightforward one. From kneeling, inhale the arms up, exhale, top of the head comes to the mat. Pretty straightforward. This is one of my favorite movements because it engages the core, but it also helps activate your third eye and your crown chakra. It forces you, by way of a forward fold, always does, to do a little bit of navel gazing and also expanding up into that greater awareness, that greater divinity that we all belong to. So continue just like this, inhaling up, stretching through the spine, exhaling back, head down to the mat and try to get either the hairline or the very top of your head on the mat here to the best of your ability, of course. And if kneeling is too hard, if this is too hard, you can always come back to your sun breaths. You can also sit cross-legged, come into a little bit of a forward fold and do little cat cows there as well. That's another great alternative. But if you are in these rabbit pose folds, just keep going. Keep going. You're doing great. You're a little over halfway there. The spirit of these movements is to try and find that balance between the heat of summer, that fluidity of water, and also to practice paying attention to what your body is telling you. Is your body overheated? Is your body overstressed? Do you need to dial it back? It's a very valuable skill that we can utilize in summer. Beautiful. Sit back on your knees, bring your hands over your heart, take a breather. That's 40. Making good progress already. Now from here, widen your knees and walk your hands forward into a child's pose. Breathe nice and deep. And from here, lift yourself up into tabletop pose. And we're just going to do cat cows. Pretty straightforward. I think we all know how this goes. But instead of coming into full cat pose, you're going to sit back into child's pose. So you're going to open up the heart into cow pose, inhale, and then exhale, sit back into child's. So inhale forward, open up the chest, exhale, sit back into child's pose. Nice, simple movement. And again, I reiterate, if this doesn't feel great, you can come back into those rabbit pose uh, forward folds, or you can come back into your sun breaths. Or if another movement feels good that you want to incorporate, do so. Summer's all about creativity. It's very, um, it's passion energy, right? So if there's a movement that I'm doing here that you're kind of like, eh, I don't know, this doesn't feel quite right, do something else. Always feel free to do your own thing, to make adjustments, choose your own adventure, always. But if you're here with me in these cat child pose transitions, keep coming with me. And if you are doing your own, uh, your own kind of, uh, movement, I do recommend doing something with a back bend for a movement we'll be doing later. You're doing great. Keep going. This is one of my favorite series of movements. Go ahead and sit back in your child's pose as you breathe. Really allow yourself to take your time with these movements. Be careful, or notice rather, how your breath guides the movement. You're almost there. Keep going. Last one. Here we go. And sit back into a wide-legged child's pose. 
breathe, check in with your spine, check in with how things feel. How does your body feel? Beautiful. And then from this wide-legged child's pose, we're going to come to hanging cobras. This is where you might want blocks under your hands, but you're just going to inhale forward, drop the hips forward, almost like you're coming into an up dog and lift the feet and then exhale back into your wide-legged child's pose. Inhale forward, hanging cobra, drop the hips, press through the hands, exhale back child's pose. And that's the movement. And again, if this is too complicated, you can continue on with those um, cow, fa- uh, cow pose to child's pose, rabbit pose, forward folds, or sun breaths. Or again, a movement of your choice. The reason I love this sort of practice, this 108 movements, sun salutations practice for summer, is it symbolizes summer in such a perfect way. Summer is this huge burst of energy. It lasts for about three months. We're all just going, going, going all summer to take advantage of the sunshine, especially if you live a little further north like I do here in Oregon. And there, summer ends. So there's this burst of heat, this burst of movement and action and power. And then it comes to an end, like all things, like the seasons, the beauty of these practices on the solstices and the equinoxes, as it reminds us that we are part of nature. Even though we live in homes, we have shelters, we have roofs, we have beds and platforms and chairs that keep us off the ground. We are still very much made of and a part of nature. And so we are still subject to the earth's cycles, the cycles of the moon, the cycles of the seasons. And even if we can't always feel it, maybe as much as we did hundreds of years ago, when we were more connected to the land, it's still very much a part of who we are as beings that exists on this planet with all of the other creatures that exist here. And I love that reminder of this flow, these 108 movements representing this burst of summer energy and knowing that like all things, it comes to an end. There's a transition. It's part of the flow. It's part of the seasons. It's part of the changes. I find great comfort in that. Beautiful. Do your last uh, hanging cobra and then send yourself back up into a downward facing dog. And if I've counted right, we should be at 80 Uh, 80 movements now. So from your downward dog, you're just going to rock your hips forward into plank and then press back into downward dog. Super easy transition forward into plank, press back into downward dog. You might need to have a slightly wider downward dog for this. And that's totally fine. Match your breath here to your movement, just like you did with the other ones. So inhale forward into plank, exhale back downward facing dog, inhale forward to plank, exhale back downward facing dog. Continue just like that. If this gets too challenging, please do return to one of the other movements. Um, there's no need to overextend you, uh, overextend yourself, which again, good lesson for life too. Beautiful. And then from your downward dog, walk your feet forward to your hands into forward fold. Let yourself kind of sway and rock all the way up to standing. Very nice. Bring your hands to heart center. Take a breather. Check in with yourself. How do you feel? How have you felt through these movements? We're in the home stretch now. We're getting very close to the end here. How do you want to feel for these last 18 movements? That might mean you go back to a simpler movement. It might mean you come with me into the next. Listen to what your body is telling you and go with it. All right, here we go. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up to standing. Exhale, right back down. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, inhale, roll up to standing, arms overhead, exhale, fold, inhale, lift, exhale, fold, up to standing. Repeat that. Just doing these half sun salutations with forward folds, 
halfway lifts. But again, find that fluidity. We're not stopping in between each of these. We're just letting it roll into another. If you want to add body rolls to this, instead of just kind of swan diving into your forward fold, if you want to body roll, you know, let your hands run down your thighs, do it. Find what feels good here. Find fluidity in your spine, in your knees, in your arms as you move through this movement. Beautiful. Almost there. And again, if this is too much, back it off a bit. Last one. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale and roll all the way up to standing. And then to finish out these 108 movements, we're going to finish with one of my favorites, breath of joy. If you've practiced with me before, you've probably done this before. It's a three-part breath. You inhale the arms forward to the side and up overhead, and then exhale while folding forward. So it sounds like you're bringing your arms up to the front, to the side, overhead, exhale, fold. Keep going. You're almost there. You're in the home stretch. We are almost done with these 108 movements. Beautiful. Keep going. Almost there. This is our ode to the sun, our ode to the brightness and the warmth that summer brings us. Almost there. And relax into your forward fold and gently roll yourself up to standing. Well done. You did it. 108 movements. If you've never done anything like this before, I hope you feel so proud of yourself. Come to the top of your mat. Inhale the arms up overhead and exhale the hands down to the mat so you can step back into downward facing dog. From here, we're going to move into a couple stretches to journal from. So we're going to come into pigeon pose first. If pigeon pose is inaccessible, come to butterfly or just a cross-legged seated position. But if pigeon is accessible, right leg forward, left leg back, and grab your journal. And I'm going to give you a couple journaling prompts in these poses. So your very first journaling prompt is... What makes me feel free? Summer, of course, like we've said, is bright, social, outward energy. And a lot of us feel more free in the summer because the sun is out. Trees are blooming. Flowers are blooming. Everything is bright, soaking up that gorgeous sunlight. So in this time, what makes you feel most free? And just journal on that for a couple minutes. Go ahead and finish your thought and we're going to press back into downward dog and just switch sides. So we're going to come into pigeon on the left leg next. If you were in a seated cross-legged position, just switch the cross of your legs. 
And if you're in butterfly, you can remain in butterfly. Your journaling prompt for this posture is how can I incorporate play into this season? So the summer season is uh, connected to the uh, solar plexus and the solar plexus is about play, fun, energy, and kind of following your whims. So how can you incorporate play just simply for play's sake in your own life? And this connects to what brings you joy. Oftentimes the things that bring us joy are just things that exist and are worth it because they exist and are worth it. So explore that question for the next couple minutes. And finish your thought. Send yourself back into downward facing dog. And from here, we're going to come into sphinx pose for our next journaling prompt. So come to lie down on your belly, elbows underneath your shoulders, bring your journal in front of you. If you want like a block or a pillow underneath your ribs behind your upper arms to support you, grab one. And your journaling prompt for this posture is what goals do I need or want to let go of. We're about halfway through the year now. We all have things that we we thought we would do this year or ways we thought this year would go. So I just want you to take the next couple minutes to reflect on what of those things do I need to let go? Maybe it wasn't what I thought it would be or isn't something that is actually serving me. Take the next couple minutes to journal on what you can let go. Go ahead and finish your thought and send your hips back into a child's pose to counter stretch your back from that sphinx pose. And then from here, we're going to move into butterfly as our final journaling posture. 
If you were journaling in butterfly a couple minutes ago, you're just going to be a super pro at this. If you have blocks or a cushion, they might be nice to uh, prop up on your feet as a little table. And then your journaling prompt for this posture is what goals do I need or want to revive? So this is the opposite of the previous question. Sometimes halfway through the year, we realize there's stuff we need to let go of. But in that process, we also realize there's things that we do want to keep trying for, or we do want to keep exploring as an intention. So whatever those things are, take the next couple minutes to write them down. Finish your thought, set your journal aside. If you were using blocks or a cushion, set them aside too. Bring the knees together and windshield wiper the legs side to side. Take a big breath and swivel yourself around on your mat and we'll finish in a short Shavasana. So feet as wide as the mat, toes splaying out, hands by your sides, close the eyes. Let yourself rest here. Shavasana is the opportunity for our bodies to percolate and digest and process the work that we do in yoga classes. Whether that's movement, meditation, breath work, mantra, mudra, journaling. Take a big breath in, let your body relax into the mat and let it process what you have just explored in this class. And begin to wiggle the fingers and the toes. Make circles with the wrists and the ankles. Bring yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Take your time. Close your eyes. 
and come back to that idea of what brings you joy about summer. What is something about this upcoming season that fills you with happiness? If you ever get a little dehydrated or crunchy or dry in the next season, remember the things that bring you joy and know that you can always dial it back if you need to when things get a little bit too warm. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Bring the hands together and start to rub the palms until you feel a little bit of warmth in your hands. And when you do, bring your hands to rest over your eyes. Keeping your palms over your eyes, open up the eyelids into the dark and then let the hands fall to your lap to let in the light. I hope you enjoyed this class. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful summer season, and I will see you again on the mat very soon. Namaste.